welcome to episode 32 of the Youth Squad Legends series with Wrexham. Before we get into the meat of this episode, can we ask how the sodding hell did Hearts make it into the Champions League? Let's take a look at their teams overall. Nah, it's pretty rubbish. It's just a minor miracle. Fair play to them, to be honest. There was a decent amount of people complain about Wesley Purple Hearts loan and how it's a bit unfair when I actually think it's been quite a fair competition. Purple Heart for a long time, shout out Tobias Tanner, but since his own performances have started slipping, I've given Tobias Tanner another shot. As much as you might not want to believe it, for a 66 overall goalkeeper, he's not doing too bad. He's actually doing pretty good. Game player of the episode in episode 30. I do think Tobias Tanner's storyline is funnier, but that's not going to get in the way of me selecting my first choice goalkeeper. If we need to recall Wesley Purport, we shall recall Wesley Purport and decreases overall because 75 is a little bit too much but at this moment in time i'm very comfortable with tobias tanner in the net okay that's not to say wesley purple is a bad goalkeeper far from it i've simply loaned him out because i don't want him unhappy at the fact that tobias tanner is getting more game time lots of changes to player appearance all the patreon player customizations have been put through including thierry cumberbatch who you see on screen right now all the mini faces have been redone the global overall and potential shift was completed yesterday. Just some good stuff all coming together within this save. Oh, I need to show you Furry Apu's hairstyle. Fire by name and fire by nature. Let's get the super thanks out. Cheers, Bogdan Rich U8605. Icarus3 underscore 674. Cosmini owner. Lewis Hempel4416. And the great sec man for chucking all that delicious sec my way. Here's a comment that tickled me that will transition us perfectly to the next segment of the episode. Unpopular opinion. Posh Cutsy is actually quite posh. Hello there, Posh Katze here. Yes, I'm very posh. Through the summer, the club has been hard at work improving all aspects of operations. The total cost of these efforts is £37 million. Therefore, the club is currently £7 million in debt. Ryan Reynolds has insisted that Deadpool video sales will cover this debt but it might delay potential stadium renovations. So finish the season with £7 million remaining in the budget if you can. Okay, toodles! Yeah, quite a long speech there by Posh Cutsy. £37 million being taken out the club. Not really a surprise that we're left with absolutely nothing in the budget, but it's gone towards very good causes. Really slight improvements. Gwyn throwing the huge benefactor of these now as a five star a week for right footed low attacking work rate center back look thuk ung shut the thuk up finally makes it as a striker because of these changes i do like and will take the opportunity to get more hands-on than a development plan but that hands-on approach is coming at a massive cost each change one million pounds so it completely wiped out our balance we're definitely going to go through the middlesbrough carlisle and burton games this episode we might even get to oxford united if the transfer activity is pretty low i've just set up all the playstyle and playstyle pluses on our opponent players and well we need to talk about stuff carlisle united have snagged an absolute bell to me and it's quite unbelievable to be honest it is one of the great AI transfers, and fair enough, each season we've committed ourselves to a global overall and potential shift, so that might help this player along the way. Even so, I think Luis Rodas might be snag of the century. 82 overall in League One is criminal. It should be illegal. How on earth have they signed this lad up? Following that up, we got the meeting with our first patron, Wonder Kid, the Finnish Kimi Kiminki at 78 overall we are gonna struggle significantly this episode we're already pretty shambolic when it comes to attack creation today it might be like pulling teeth out all the patron wonder kids and other players have been added to the save you'll get more details on that with a new patreon post 
tracking all the players that we've added so you can have greater control of uh, their careers. The scouts have been upgraded as part of the 37 million pounds worth of costs. I know Andreas Pond has got us a really nice player, Philip Goodridge at 57 to 77 overall. Potentially he's not there, but it's a great starting point at 1.8 million pounds valuation. And I can't sign him up because I don't have any money. There's also Kevin Price spotted by Tony Pritchard. I'm 50-50 on whether I want to sign this guy up. Striker is definitely a position that we need to bolster or, or find something magical to go alongside Sorindari. Which leads me on to the transfer hub. Players of Wrexham Pass that we should keep an eye on take a look at Ennio Pilato here 75 overall absolutely flying there at Montpellier there's players here that I'm expecting to see return to Wrexham very very shortly William Ronto definitely has to because he's really struggling to adapt to the English game and I think it's now or never to get a, a final judgment on him. In terms of the striking options, Randolph Celestine has had a decent jump up to 60 overall and Perkusk is now up to 67 overall but his work rates are totally messed up. I'm also eyeing up a return for Gino August just because I liked his aggression last season. I love that he just chucked himself into challenges when he was against Rex I guess we shall see what happens. I'm going to put Semi Prasad on the loan list. Shaquane President's not liking his game time, so it might be best for him to go out on loan for the time being as we assess other centre-backs. I am super, super close to saying goodbye to Ivan Mikic completely. I think he's been a complete waste of time, a complete waste of talent, but I'll give him one more game. Goodness knows what's going to happen in the striking department. Middles brought in the EFL Cup. Loving Karaski hairstyle sadly on the substitutes bench as Middlesbrough line up in a 4-2-3-1 wide they are a four-star team to play standard style football I tell you what are we away from home because this might be the chance to unleash that beautiful away kit now sadly we're at home we're going to use this match as just an assessment game loads of debuts Furiapu playing way further upfield than what I initially anticipated but he's 56 overall as a right forward I mean we're gonna get absolutely battered but we might get some really telling evidence on individuals we're at home against Middlesbrough for me it's games like this that are the most exciting because you know what you're gonna get with the first team a decent performance overall, but for this mix of players, I have absolutely no idea what's going to happen. And I mean, we haven't even touched the ball and we've conceded. Jake Jackson doesn't look particularly massive. I don't think the man's got the frame to be a goalkeeper. Finally, we've got to touch on the ball. Oi, oi. Cumberbatch against two. Standing tackles, not there, sunshine. Back post, Spencer Neal will of course sort it out. Lock, thuck, ung. I mean, I'm just going to have to go backwards because there's, there's literally nothing happening up front. We have serious problems, guys. Maybe it's Furiapus to sort out. It's actually not done too bad. Great ball into Lock, thuck. Oh! Still yet to see anything positive from Lescovar. But I've just got to be hopeful on that. Appelle Nadeau. Trying to find what Spencer Neal up there. I hope he gets back. Oh boy, oh boy. Here's Edda Ojeda. No, that just got burnt. Absolutely cooked. And Jake Jackson can't defend his front post. The initial impressions is that Edda Ojeda's a bit of a dud. Didn't do well at Sheffield United. I mean, he is completely gone. With one touch of the football there. Preciado makes it 2-0 Middlesbrough. we got to be really careful that this doesn't turn into an embarrassment. It's already embarrassing enough that Jang Sung Chan turns up in a bright orange suit. Oh, hey, A little bit better, a little closer to his marker that time. No, he's, he's bad, mate. He's bad. <laughs> Okay, 69 overall, is he? I'm not getting any Bustamante vibes. Let's put it that way. Oh, mate, this could be proper embarrassing. This could be proper embarrassing. 
and the whole haters got turned and it's 4-0. Man, we just simply can't lay a finger on middles, bro. Right, who's in the center of our midfield? Of course, no, I, I don't even need to ask that. It's Mikic, isn't it? That's enough of you, my friend. We need a bit of control. We need Felix Rosenberg on the job. Tobias Tanner is coming on for Jake Jackson. I guess we got to throw in Keone Sola. Just get Ojeda off the pitch. Make sure that this is not like double digits. Thing is, I even brought in the first team fullbacks to give a centre bike partnership at least a chance to hold out a little bit. But it's not worked. The wing backs have also got a little bit cooked. Badman Yambu, into for Riapu. Might be our best player, Lok Thuk Ung. I mean, sure, the pass goes out to a Pele Nadu. Chest control by Spencer Neal. That might be our best chance. Felix Rosenberg shoots wide. But it's a nice spell of play. Ivan Mikic from the scout report. I thought we'd found an absolute belter. Turns out it was shambolic. Rogers out wide. It's Tanner making a save. My people, where have you been for the last few episodes? Because this is what we're expecting from Tobias now. He actually can make saves. Sadly, nothing what? much is changing up front. Great slide tackle by Cesarini. Badman Yambu hasn't got into the game yet. Can't keep it in play. See how quickly Felix Rosenberg closed that down. Cumberbatch with the interception. Here goes Spencer Neal. That should be an interception by Felix Rosenberg. He'll have the ball back. And he really has changed the game. Changed the game too late, of course. I don't really need to tell you how much this is different from uh, the first 20 minutes. There is just so much more control. It's Furiapu! Been our best player outside of Felix Rosenberg, who's uh, doing a madness here. Yes! As Lok Thuk Ung with the header. Could be another corner kick on the horizon. A bad man, Yambu, a little bit deeper. A Lok Thuk misses that. Yeah, wide. There you go. Naidu. Go for the opposite side, mate. Get in. Get in. Let's go for. One of these has to go into the back of the net. It's bad man, Yambu. Let's go for. Gets right underneath that ball. Anyways, we can change it up front. Semi Prasad. Oh, he's also got quick step plus. Forgot that. Semi might be a bit of a weapon for the last 15 minutes. Drop it in for Iapu. There's Semi Prasad. Still, we can't find the back of the net, but oh, we are trying desperately. Bring the goalkeeper out a little bit. He's right on the money. It's Tobias Tanner. Zachariasen. Yes! Big effort by Keone Sola. Drops to Bangora. I mean, might be a chance, but Tanner is there to stop any additional goals from going in. You take your hats off to these defenders that have done a stellar job since the changes. Full time. Can you believe it? Keone Sola, Tobias Tanner had themselves a very respectable 70 minutes on the pitch, but it's a 4 0 loss. That first 20 minutes was appalling and that's what i'm talking about you might still think tobias tanner's bad but he's actually not bad he's doing the business at the moment in the net and if he stops doing the business we get on the phone to wesley purport and say look you've got to come back simple as oh Hader's not there i've only given him one game probably can't afford to give him any more we'll uh, stick him on the loan list and check him out in 12 months time you're an absolute fraud mickey onto the transfer list we could try out nicky millwood ridley up front but that brings another player into the party brings another player into the mix i think we're assessing too many players at the moment already carlisle of course putting roda central spot in there five man defense cap in as well he is a filthy filthy player counter-attacking football this could be shocking mate playing with really terrible players at the start of this episode might actually help us because it'll make the good players feel even better you would hope all right let's see what we've got here so impressed by furry apu he gets stuck straight into the first team i'm hoping to goodness dorian samasoni can link up and start creating some kind of connection wrecks him against carlisle it's looking pretty grim here like counter attacking or no counter attacking carlisle just got all of the ball all of the control i think we have to look towards doing something different 
being proactive with the tactics because as much as I've enjoyed using this formation and wing play for the last two seasons, it's clearly not working here. And we are relying on Tobias Tanner making saves to keep us nil-nil. I wish we had the freedom of passing that they have as soon as we get it, even if it's in our third of the pitch. There's just no time. There's no way to catch a breath. It is brutal in every sense. Well done, Tobias. It's back to defending for us. That should be Gwyn for Owens. Oh, we got to do something. The goal is looking more and more likely by the second. I need to kick this thing out. I've not got any kind of possession. This is horrific. Apparently, that's a foul. Danny Bin just flails out a leg. Goes back to Carlisle. I'm going to make the changes now because I feel like I won't have a chance. I'm going to go 4-2-3-1 narrow. Back to the idea of the tiki taka. Light pressure on heavy touch. But I don't want it to be like slow build up. I want our tiki taka football to have some kind of impetus. And a significant amount of players in the box. Am I going to try the vertical tiki taka on FIFA? I would love to. Big headers, Gwyn throwing doesn't get that clear. Sorry, Dari on to Neves. We are relying on our striker to make defensive clearances. All our player positions have messed up, I think. But it's allowed Benzmacher to at least be forward, which is nice. Oh, Neves, great take. It's Samasoni. He's stuck it in. Good lad. Silly Arto Samasoni. Goodness knows where we're playing who here. At this moment in time, Samasoni's up front, Benzmaka is the cam. Furiapu Richards, Dory playing centre mid, I don't think so. Maybe we should drop the defensive line a little bit. I have no idea. Up and over. Spencer Neal's completely forgot about his defensive. Oh, needs and Benzmaka finally arrives in League One. Come on, then! Man, what a big pull to roll the dice. It's a great sliding challenge by the 50 overall Alex Brutus. Whatever this is, I want to keep it. Custom pressure on heavy touch, balance, direct passing. That's it. That's the way we've got to do it this season. My kingdom for vertical tiki taka football. Win throwing in trouble. Get it around, get it out of trouble. Ricardo Neves is on his way to attack. This Carlisle defence, Sorindari, maybe set up Benzmacher if we could. 30 minutes to go. Crosses towards Rodas. I wasn't quick enough with Tanner out the net, but I think it was a slight touch by Gwyn throwing that made sure the big centre bike didn't get his head towards the ball. Danger's always there, but it looks like we're a bit more organised. We've got more pep in our step. Neves, cross. That's Benzmacher not reaching the ball, but it's another positive attack. We've not got a right-hand side. Come on, Gwyn throwing. Another big stand doesn't even catch up to that. It'll be 2-1 with 12 minutes to go. Daly, can he put a ball in? Gwyn throwing. He just stands there and watches. And that is Alan Richards with a timely touch. Because Tobias Tanner bit very hard and could have left the door wide open this is carlisle's fifth fifth corner kick samasoni heads it away well, they kept on playing it around the defenders until the time ran out we got our first victory in league one don't know how that's happened let's have a look at the match facts 44 percent of the possession i'm assuming that most of that possession came in the second half Less XG. Carlisle had 12 shots. Is the future for Benzmacher in a more central role just behind the striker? A few transfer and loan offers coming in. Mikic, 2.2 million. I'm going to accept. And Semi Prasad out on loan. No real surprise that there's interest in Shaquain President. Hull City have got an improved offer for Ivan Mikic, as we have another counter-attacking system, Burton Albion, Kaminki obviously the star man, 5-2-3 formation, maybe, finally, we have ourselves an answer to counter-attacking five-backs, it's Burton Albion against Wrexham, New Hope very much flowing through the veins, go on Danny Bins, it's brilliant by Danny Bins, Roundtree's on his way, Brilliant, brilliant player, by the way. Potential is super high, like the, the upper 80s. So, sure we'll see much of him 
later on down the line. Sorin Dari wanting to be flashy. Edge of the box, a back kill. Neves, it's Benzema gone and it's 1-0 Wrexham. That's right. Welcome to Yuko Ike's Haiku Chronicles with your host, Yuko Ike. Fan watching the game throws a bottle onto pitch. Dari heads it in. We're back in business here. Oh, in big clearance. Chest control by Sorin. Dari is so good. And he gets away from Kaminki. And I've committed with Brim throwing, meaning that we've only got three players back at the moment. Squeezed by our wing backs. Danny Bin's doing quite well. Jang Sung Chan's done it. He's absolutely done it, the mad lad. Embarrassing orange suit or not, his tactics have completely, completely changed the complexion of what's going down this season. What a goal that is by Stockton, though. Oh, my word. Benz Macker on the turn. This is Sorin Dari. Out wide, gonna leave it from Darwin Cruz. Dari goes to Alan Richards, nice find, Benzmacker up against the defence, and excellent work, Benzmacker shielded off by Kaminki, looked slightly like a foul, but the referee says play on, corner kick time, where's Sorin Dari, there he is, what a lad, Sorin Dari beats Kaminki in the air, get in there lads, 2-1, can always rely on Sorin Dari. Moon going wide. Spencer Neal very much on the case. We're just swarming. We've got players around at all times. It just doesn't feel like they have the space available to them to pass it around us. Kaminki again with a stinker. Sorin Dari should have put the game to bed. Let's fill that up. Well done, Felix Rosenberg. Love the energy. Bins with a lackadaisical pass. Look at Owen's positioning here. What is that? What is that? Let's stop undoing all our good work, lads. Stockton could get around Felix Rosenberg. Danny Bins with a weak attempt. Bailed out by Tobias Tanner. This is Alan Richards. Darwin Cruz might be the ball. <laughs> Sweeney with a, an excellent sliding challenge. But the uh, opportunity is still there. Maka sets it up. Darwin Cruz. 3-2. Brilliant work by Wrexham again. And it's all going through Ben Smacker. This is Felix Rosenberg. Neves. Opportunities. Opening. Stay on bleeding side. Darwin Cruz. Back to Ben Smacker. Oh, come on now. Kaminki now playing as some kind of left-hand side player. Good ball. Oh, Caprice has got to bury that. All shut off by Spence and Neil. Better by Danny Bins. Being aggressive and getting into the midfield. Spence and Neil is now up there. Brilliant support. Bins Macca forces the save out of Blackman. We're putting so much energy into this. 12 minutes to go. Loads of changes. Keep the energy high. Worthy playing as a central defensive midfielder might be an absolute masterstroke. Now we have selection of quick step worthy. Ball in! Oh. Wide open offside and still saved by Tanner. Give this man his credit. Big strong play by Ben Smacker. Great balance and he keeps hold of the ball. Ben Smacker doing the magic. We're not getting around Kaminki. It's fine. We've done it. Six points out of six in the league. This episode, and outside of that first 20 minutes in the Middlesbrough game, it's been sensational. Who would have thought them three games packed full of content? The Oxford United next. And before I go, here are all the changes from episode 30 and 31 to feast your eyes upon this has been cutsy thank you ever so much for watching this episode of youth squad legends if you've enjoyed it then please give the video a like if not subscribe around here yet then press the red box down below and hit the bell icon for mobile notifications big thanks to everybody on the right hand side supporting me on patreon i hope you have a load of fun with your rewards through this save you can join them too of course with the link down in the description box I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.